Hey guys, it's Lavion. Today's video is gonna be a light motion for beginners 2022 version. I'm making this video because my first one kind of blew up, so <laughs> yeah, and I made that ending of 2020, so it's almost a year later. It's only it's a year later, actually, it's a year later, and I'm making an updated version, so here we go once you open the app you're gonna be greeted with a green plus button um, those are just my old projects don't mind those so you have this page where you can choose any ratio that you want any resolution you want background and frame rate so as you can see the resolutions go up to 4k the frame rates go up to 60 FPS and you have various types of backgrounds to choose from so once you create a project you're going to be introduced to this page pressing the plus sign enables you to add shapes media i had to you know not show that audio objects and elements and drawings and text so i'm just going to add a photo here as you see from media it's of chesan you know now what i'm going to show you is how to cut things now you can split or cut what i just did was cut what's in front of the timeline thingy and i just brought it back by pressing that button it's kind of the undo button now i'm deleting what's behind the timeline thing so you can cut and split your photos and videos as you see me doing here a lot of you guys are gonna make edits on here so here is how you add audios if you're using an android you can easily do this with the audios that are saved on your phone but if you don't you're most likely going to be extracting audio so what you want to do is press the video then press the three buttons there and press extract audio now once you do that the audio is extracted as you can see by that purple thing on top that purple layer that is the audio so you can just delete the video underneath that and you have your audio saved since this is a, a light motion for beginners video i'm not gonna go into objects because that is a little more advanced or intermediate so i'm not gonna go into there at all um next we have elements and i kind of use elements as a pre-save type of thing i save like colorings and shakes on here that's how i use elements so if you're wondering how to use that there you go next we have drawings and it's this is a freehand drawing you just draw on the box and they're gonna pop up you see me drawing hearts and everything and yep next the next type of drawing that you have is vector drawing and it's basically you drawing lines so that you can create a shape the next thing you need to know about is how to add text so text is at the bottom over there and you just type in what you want to type in i'm gonna write chesan because this is chesan chesan yeah and um you can change the alignment you can change the colors you can change the fonts and you can change the size of the text and you can also import your own fonts into a light motion the next segment of this video is making basic transitions my whole channel is about teaching you how to make edits and transitions are included in that so i'm going to teach you how to make a simple one you add a keyframe which is adding that diamond thing on the left hand side you can adjust its position by holding down on it like how i'm gonna do and dragging it so you add one at the beginning and at the end and at the first one you scroll this dial uh, to make a zoom in transition or zoom transition and you can add a graph just by how i'm doing it you can just simply copy me and you made a graph another thing you have to know as an editor is how to make your edits on beat so these are how you add bookmarks so you just add the bookmark by pressing on the time stamp thing I really don't know the name so you just press on the timestamp and the bookmarks are just going to appear they're those red lines so they're just going to appear like that another thing you can do is adjust the speed of your photos on both android and iphones you can adjust the speed but only on iphones is where you can adjust the speed of videos 
You're probably wondering why I did not talk about graphs that much in this video. I've made two videos explaining graphs, so the link is in the description below. Go check them out. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add, you know, extra things like shadows, blending, and changing color to your text. So I just typed in Tresan. You go to border and shadow and you can enable stroke and change its thickness as you see me doing here. Then the next thing you can add a border. You can also change its thickness as well and you can change its color on both stroke and border. Then last you can enable shadow, change its size, its alpha and the position of the shadow. The next thing you should know is effects. Effects enables you to add so many things like tiles, motion blur, and 3D shapes. So you can just search up the effect that you're looking for because you might not know where they are in their categories. You can change its colors. You can change so many things using effects. Okay, now here I'm just going to show you how the blendings are. You can have so many different blendings, darken, lighten, contrast, differences, and as you see, it changes how the text appears on the photo. This is how the transition turned out if you followed every single thing that I did. To export your video, press the button on the upper right corner. You just end up pressing export and you can preview your video and then you can save or you can share it. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future and leave a comment on a part of the video you did not understand and stay safe.